I think we're in a really good spot for gravel riding. We came in at the right time, just when this sort of style of riding became a big thing. We've been open about four years or just over now. It's just gone a bit nuts in the last year. I'm constantly excited about new products and obviously if I like it, I'm gonna to wanna to stock it in the shop. It just seems natural for us to buy the stuff that we use and then try and sell it to people. There's so many bike shops out there doing mainstream brands, so we try and do as much new stuff as possible. And brands like Bomb Track is uh, exactly up our street. They're a cool brand because they've got their own scene and they've got like a hardcore group of riders that ride for them. And it's the it's bike packing outdoor stuff that we've always, always wanted to get behind, the touring. Yeah. The, the, the camping's come with that now as yeah, well. Yeah. So many of their bikes are geared up for that. I think that was a slow start. Like, roadies getting into gravel happened quite quickly and now those same guys are like, oh, okay, we can load our bikes up and do multi-day trips. Yeah. And, and yeah, now we're selling bikes that are prepped for bike packing. The Arise has always been one of our favourites because it's just clean and simple and That's versatile. Fun. It can take multiple wheel sizes, it's got sliding dropouts, you could tour on it, gravel ride on it, run at single speed. We've done flat bar builds on the rises, and it's just a cool bike. And now realising that it's got actually updated tyre clearance, we've got 747s in this one, which is pretty awesome. It's going to be a rocket. All steel. We like steel good ride quality, durability, and just that classic look. The more you do it, you're like, yeah, it works. Just do it, you know, what the manufacturer tells you isn't always the way it has to be done. <laughs> and that only comes with the experience, doesn't it? You've got to do it, test it, because no one will tell you whether it works or not. Just give it a go. It is really challenging. After the year we've had, I'm not surprised that people give up after a few years. You're buying a bike, you want to actually talk to the person that has experience and if you're talking to the owner of the shop, even better. If you want it cheap and quick, buy it online but you won't get good service. And uh, I think people realise that now. And if you can balance both, yeah, that's fine. We've got no problem with people buying a bit of stuff online or whatever. But <laughs> yeah. what we provide is a bit more. Doing our shop rides getting a bit of the riding community around the shop was a massive thing for us. It started off just a few locals that live nearby and now people travel from hours away just to come on like a Sunday morning group ride. Yeah, it's rad. <laughs>